Hello, Seven Witty Fangirls. It's Jo, and I am coming to you from the past. I'm coming to you from Friday night. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I've got stuff to do tomorrow, even though I am going to post this on Saturday, so I'm just going to knock this out right now. So, fingers crossed, hope that this will be coherent. So, because it's Friday night, I've got my Friday night staples, which are ice cream, Ben and Jerry. It's delicious. And I've also got wine, because it's not the end of the week without wine, and I am not making any sort of blanket statement about drinking or anything like that. Although really, if you watch Drunk Kitchen, you will see that it can contribute to wittiness, but uh, it's not a reason to drink. It should be a personal choice. So, now that we've got that out of the way, um, chocolate. <coughs> I just wanted to say that I'm really excited that the channel is really taking off now. And, uh, and of course, we've got even more people this week. And maybe one week we'll actually have seven. And all of you subscribers out there as well, I hope that we're giving you your money's worth because you're, you're not paying anything, so it doesn't really matter. Right, since Tara, you really wanted some book recommendations. I don't know if you really wanted them this much, but I'm going to give you a selection of my favorite books. <laughs> so, first of all, in the sci-fi category, which is my favorite. We've got Lewis McMaster Bujold, who is an awesome, awesome author. Uh, she has two series that are really good. The first one is um, the Vorkasegan Saga, which there are, there are about a billion of them. They're all really good. My favorite and like the best book of all time is uh, Cordelia's Honor, which is actually two books in one, but if you read it, you will just, you'll be completely blown away, and it will change your life. So even if you're not a sci-fi reader, I would really recommend you read those. She also has this incredible, incredible fantasy series. Um, the second one in the series, and the best one, is uh, Paladin of Souls. If you want to read the first one, Curse of Chalion, that one's also very good. But Paladin of Souls has a strong female heroine who is middle-aged. Uh, she has two kids. And she is incredible, and you should read this book because it's excellent. Or, of course, anything by Diana Wynne Jones, of course. You probably already know this, but she, she was an amazing, amazing author, and anything that she's ever written. But I expect that I'm preaching to the choir, and I'm sure that you guys already know about her. But in any case, pick up her books anyway. <laughs> and then we've also got, and this is because I read a lot of young adult literature, uh, because that's what I'd like to write someday, fingers crossed. Uh, I, I really, really like anything by Tamora Pierce. So what I have right here, and uh, it's a very shiny cover, is uh, the first book in the Becca Cooper series, but all of her series, and I'm sure, uh, I read them a lot growing up, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have as well. Um, the Song of the Lioness series, Protector of the Small, any of, any of her series are just really, really amazing. They take place in the mythical kingdom of Tortal, and they're really really awesome. Uh, the best thing of all time in terms of time travel is uh, To Say Nothing of the Dog by Connie Willis. The way that Connie Willis handles time travel is that in her books it's something that's left up to historians to do because it's, it's shown that time travel has no other practical applications. In, in her stories, the way that it works is that the timeline will always snap back into place and there's not anything that you can do. You can't kill Hitler or anything like that. So it's actually been given to historians and it follows historians in Oxford in the future who go back into time. But this book, To Say Nothing of the Dog, is amazing. If you like Oscar Wilde, if you like any sort of uh, P.G. Woodhouse, uh, Jeeves and Worcester books, if you like anything at all making fun of the Victorians, To Say Nothing of the Dog is incredible. And we've also got Jasper Ford's Thursday Next series. These are really, really good. I used to love the author a lot more until I realized that he was completely against fan fiction. And then I'm like, dude, these books, all fan fiction. Uh, what happens in these is that there's a woman by the name of Thursday Next, and she finds out that you can travel into books. They have their own sort of jurisdiction and policing system, and she eventually becomes a part of that. Not to be too spoilery, but it's just for anyone who's ever loved reading and really wanted to go inside a book. That's what these are all about. So Tara, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share all of my favorite books. And to everyone else, I would really love to hear if you have any favorite books. Because I'm always up for more reading. I love to read. And uh, I will see you guys next Saturday. Bye!